I'm Ms. Zertastic, and today we're going to draw a flaming hot pepper. So grab your favorite Mark Mickey mediums and let's make some art. All right, my friends, today we're gonna to be drawing a flaming hot pepper and we're gonna begin with the stem. So we're gonna draw the pepper here, flame over here. So make sure you allow for some space. Grab your Mark Mickey medium that you want to draw with and we're gonna draw almost like a letter S. So a nice curved line that goes up and around. Then we're gonna bring that line up and over and close it off with a nice oval. From there, we're gonna draw the pepper top like that. So a nice curving oval, but leave a little bit of space open. And from there, we'll draw the body. So a nice kind of curving triangular or V shape. Next, we'll do the eyes. So we'll, on either side of our pepper, we'll do a nice circle. In each circle, draw another circle and then fill it in with black. Next, between the eyes, draw a straight line and then from the straight line draw a U. From the U draw a curving line and then fill it in with black just leaving that tongue section. On the top, we're gonna do some, draw some glares of light, so draw some shapes. Of course, they're curved because the peppers curve. And you can also add one down the sides, so that way it looks nice and shiny. And then we'll add some texture lines, just like that. And you can also add some little hatching lines in the stem for texture as well. All right, let's make this cool pepper flaming hot. For the beginning of our flame, we'll draw a leaf shape. And then we'll add some curving lines around that. And then from there, we'll draw the flames. So some of it will tuck in under the pepper but basically you're adding lots of different swirls with spiky curve lines. And then connect it together. Remember, there's no right or wrong way to draw either peppers or flames because of course they all look different naturally anyways. You could grow an entire pepper plant and not one will be the exact same. And every time a flame flickers, it is different. So don't worry about making things the same. You should definitely always add your own artist flavor to your work and make it your own. All right, let's color. For coloring, I'm going to use felt markers and wax crayons, but you pick the mediums that make sense for you. My pepper is going to be red hot. So I'll color it red first. Remember not to color other details like the whites in the eyes or the glare of light. We want to keep that nice and bright. Okay, 
red hot. I'm gonna leave the center of my flame white, do the middle part yellow. For the tongue, I'll color it pink because the body's red. And then I'm going to use a nice bright green for my stem. And orange for the remainder of the flame. Perfect. Next, we're gonna use some, well, I'm gonna use some wax crayons, but if you want, you can use pencil crayons or whatever you have. And we're going to do some highlights and other details. I'm going to shade this white, just part of it with an orange. And then I'm gonna use yellow to add a few lighter areas. Just like that. I'll add a little bit of yellow on those glare spots. And now I'll take my white pen, my white wax crayon, and I'm gonna add some highlights so I can add highlights to the flame. I'm gonna lighten up the top of my pepper. I can add more highlights in the eyes with the white to make it extra cute. And then I'm gonna find my black for, ah, there it is, shading. I'm gonna shade around the mouth very gently. around the stem. Down the side. And when you're done, your flaming hot pepper is ready to be displayed. Fantastic Nation, that's the end of this episode. Tune in every Tuesday evening for the premiere of the next episode, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For more art tutorials, visit my blog at MsArtastic.com. Teachers, find my creative, high-quality art resources in my TPT store, Ms. Artastic. Finally, you can receive free art worksheets for kids by joining my newsletter by simply clicking the first link in my video description. All links are available in the description of this video. See you next time.